Hi, my name is Kim Peck, and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to uh, do a tutorial on um, different inking techniques with the Hexagon Dynamic Texture Impressions folder. Uh, it comes in a package like this. It's thicker than a normal uh, embossing folder, so it almost gives like a 3D effect when you're doing your embossing with your paper. And um, just done plain, it it gives a beautiful impression, but I'm gonna show you some um, different ways to ink it and get some different looks on your paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do for uh, is to make like a chicken wire effect. Um, one of the sets that we have in the Celebration brochure, which looks like this. The Celebration brochure, um, it runs from January 4th through March 31st of 2017. And with every $50 purchase during that time frame you get to choose a free item from this catalog. The catalog can be seen online um, at my website at kimpeckstamps.stampinup.net and there will be information on my blog at kimpeck.com as well. So one of the sets that you can get for free with a $50 purchase is this Hey Chick set and it has several different chickens and sayings. Uh, I made a card using this set and it looks like this. I'm going to show you how I made the chicken wire effect for the background. So in order to do this, I actually inked up my impressions folder. And for this, it's best if you use a rubber headed brayer and you want to check which side is sticking up. So this side is um, the shorter, the narrower of the two sides um, actually gives you a different look. We're going to ink the wider of the two sides for this. So you just roll your brayer over, and I'm using a soft suede ink for this. And then put your paper in. Because these folders, the dynamic folders, are thicker, when you put it through your Big Shot, you're actually only going to use one of the plates. Normally you would use a sandwich of two plates and put your folders in between, but because this folder tends to be thick, you don't need to use two, you only use one. So go ahead and put that folder right on top of your plate and then put your one clear plate on top and run it through. Once you run that through, the look you're going to get is this. So you've got your chicken wire effect, and that's what I use to make that card. I usually do a whole sheet at one time and then cut it in half to use to make my banners. And so to make that banner, I just use the triple banner punch, and I put my two inch piece through the slot, and I always turn it over. It's just easier for me to make sure I have it clear down to the base. So it's going to look like that, punch it, and that makes my banner that made the back behind my chicken. I wanted to show you a little trick with the chicken as well. I stamped my chicken with my soft suede ink. And then rather than using um, different things to color it in, I actually just took my aqua painter. This is like a watercolor paintbrush and it comes empty and you just unscrew the top and fill it with water. And then I just took that and went right over the chicken and spread because that ink is a watercolor based ink, it just spreads it around a little bit. I just wanted a light impression with my chicken. I didn't want him to be too dark. And then I just dipped a little bit in my pad to make a shadow underneath. And for the beak and feet, I used my markers to color those in, in the Dijon, delightful Dijon. And then the red for his crown. And then to cut that out, I actually used the um, stitched shaped framelits. Now these are not in our current catalog. They're coming out in the new catalog um, on June 1st. However, they are orderable right now. Um, I will have information on how to order that on my blog at kimpeck.com. The item number is 145372, and they are $30. You get uh, four 
uh, the circles, four of the ovals, and four squares. And what they do when you cut them out, you run it through your Big Shot, and what you get is a stitched edge all the way around. They're a great um, addition to our other framelit sets. And the nice thing is, they're just the right size to layer with the um, layering circle set that we have, the squares and the ovals. So they're made so that you can get a nice perfect mat to go under that. So it, that's how I made the chicken for the card. And then to add these embellishments, I used the perfect white accents for these little embellishments here. They come in a package of 75. There's 25 of each of the three different sizes. And I'm gonna give you a little tip. When you want to take any kind of embellishment like that off from the paper it's on, I'm gonna put it on here so you can see. I use my piercing tool and just get under it like that. It makes it very easy to lift it up and then put it exactly where you want it. So that's just a little tip when you're using your different um, embellishments on your cards. So there's our finished card. So that's one look that you can get when you're inking these folders. I wanna show you something else, however. If you don't have a big shot and you still want to get that chicken wire effect, you can actually ink this up just like you did before. So gently ink your folder, put your paper in there and just push down, whoops, I moved that a little bit, but you'll be able to see it. Just push with your hand, and then when you pull it up, you're still gonna get that chicken wire effect. I moved it a little bit, but this is another one that I had done without running it through the Big Shot. So you can get just a nice inked chicken wire too if you don't want the impression, or you don't have the Big Shot. So you can get that nice look either way. Now another thing that you can do with this is if you have the foam brayer that we carry. You can actually ink up the background with the foam brayer as well. So just roll this over. And when I do this, I generally go in different directions. So I don't get a line pattern this way. It kind of just fills in all the circles. So once you get that all inked, put your paper in like I did before and run it through. And I will show you what the look that you get you get kind of a 3D effect um, where it shows all the different crevices and everything. So that's another fun look that you can do for backgrounds on your cards. And then the last thing I wanna show you with this is if you ink up the narrower side with your rubber brayer, it will, it'll highlight the honeycomb or the hexagon shapes. And so um, when I did that, this is the look you got if you just used the soft suede on the white. However, I wanted to use it for a card I had made before. And I'll show you the card with just the hexagon folder. Let me move some of this out of the way so you can see. Here's the card that I made just using the hexagon folder. It's a little hard to see the shapes and um, it looks a little bit empty. And so I decided to ink up my folder with the um, Delightful Dijon ink and do it on the De Delightful Dijon paper. And look at the difference in the card. It just really makes that background pop. So you can get a lot of different looks with this one folder. It's a great investment. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out on this is I love the little hexagon shapes. These are um, the Urban Accents embellishments and they're also in the Occasions catalog right now. They're a fun addition if you like embellishments. And the B here came from the um, Dragonfly Dreams stamp set. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the different ways that you could use the embossing folder with inks. Um, if you want more information on any of those cards or the techniques, you can go to my blog at kimpeck.com.